Hello Blackhawk team, my name is Kevin Rivers and with me is my lovely wife Jessica and I want to introduce my family to you. Uh, I remember early in seminary a professor making the statement that family is always your first ministry and it's truly that for us. Family is a big priority and so I want to start by introducing uh, them to you. We have two kids that are napping right now. That's why it's quiet enough here in the house for us to make this video for you. So I'll let Jessica tell you a little bit about our family to start us. Well, we've been married for 10 years. We actually just celebrated in March our 10th anniversary. Um, and like you said, we have two kids. One is five and one is three. And it's Caleb and Callie. There They're they kind of cute. We're a little biased. But as he said, we do a lot as a family. Um, one of the new adventures that we are on is the process of adoption. We're actually at the end of the process. So fingers crossed it's going to be winding down very soon. Um, and some of the things that we love to do is we have horses and dogs and a hamster and we like to be outside with them and spend time with them and be outside and go and ride bikes and go to the park and just kind of normal things but uh, that's number one for us. And really a few things light a fire under me or put a smile on my face more than getting to do ministry uh, together as a family. We view ministry as a team effort. Uh, what God calls me to do, he's calling us to do, and he won't contradict himself in that. He calls us all to it together, and he's proven that all of these years. We were high school sweethearts and moved into that uh, area of ministry together from the get-go. And so a few things put a smile on my face more than that. Uh, but also, uh, I really have a great passion for preaching the gospel. I just love uh, being an evangelist with my life, certainly with my preaching. Nothing really lights a fire under me more than seeing people saved and baptized, uh, coming to know the Lord, whether that's in a corporate service or it's in one-on-one uh, -on -one conversations in life. Uh, and then even beyond that, I'd say another thing that really lights a fire under me is when I see people that I'm investing in get it. And you know what I mean by get it. It's when they really own the mission, when they really own ministry and an investment that I've been able to make in them turns into godly decisions in their family or godly decisions in their workplace. And mm -hmm. I can think of a guy named Tony that I invested in, got to be a part of leading him to the Lord um, in the past couple of years and eventually got to interview him on stage in our church to celebrate his life because of that, because he had led somebody mm -hmm. to Christ for the first time. And so when people own ministry, when Ephesians 4, where people are being equipped, the works of ministry are being poured into and equipped within God's people. That's what really lights a fire mm -hmm. under me and uh, just keeps me going in ministry. And when it comes to this position, a little bit about where I am and where we are right now, Isaiah 43 verses 18 and 19 have kind of characterized a lot about mm -hmm. what God's been doing in us. We're in a very comfortable place with ministry, but we feel like God is saying to us like he does in Isaiah 43, I'm going to do something new in you. I'm going to make a way in the wilderness. I'm going to make rivers in the desert. Um, we haven't known really what that has meant, but we knew that God's been up to something new. He's put a spirit of restlessness and drive for a new vision to be able to pursue and lead and really truly to build on the foundation of leadership and and ministry that God has blessed me with, uh, more than 10 years of vocational ministry uh, in a way that multiplies it in a church setting uh, where it's needed, where vision is needed because I just breathe vision right now. Uh, that's really where I'm at. And so kind of within that, a few things stood out to us about this role outside of just that, that kind of an opportunity with great potential in the Fort Wayne area. Uh, one is just that you're a mobilizing kind of church, we saw. Uh, she already mentioned to you, Jessica did, about our process of adoption. And I saw that you have a grafted ministries that is really centered around that, that really grabbed our attention because, not just because it's something that we're a part of, but we really believe in, I'm really a proponent of the church being known in the community. I think that the community should know where the church is, even if they don't like the church or agree with everything the church has to stand for or on, they know who they are because the church is loving and making such a difference in the community. And it seems like you're that type of a mobilizing kind of church uh, in local ministry in your community, but then also global mobilization. I'm a big believer in an Acts 1-8 kind of strategy, uh, sending people out. Uh, I heard a quote recently that the church should be more about sending capacity than seating capacity. And it seems like you're a sending kind of church, and that's definitely the kind of setting that I will thrive in, an Acts 1-8 strategy that starts in our Jerusalem, moves to Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. And so those are a few th of the things that have really stood out to us. 
But I uh, just wanted to introduce ourselves, and we want you to know that we are praying for you. I pray Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, one of my favorite discernment uh, prayers and verses uh, in all of Scripture, that as you lean not on your understanding, and we do the same, but in all of our ways acknowledge Him, that He will direct our paths. And so no matter what that may look like for us and for you guys there at Black Hawk Ministries, know that you have our prayers, and we want to introduce ourselves and let you know that we'll keep praying on this journey with you guys. God bless.